looks a bit different than a dueling arena, huh? Dungeon Dice Monsters is a whole new game with a whole new set of rules. And to keep up, you're gonna have to pay close attention. <laughs> Don't you worry, I'm a quick study. Welcome back to Team APS, guys. And you can see from what's in my hand, we got our hands on Yu-Gi-Oh! Dungeon Dice Monsters, released way back in 2002. Uh, this is a relic of Yu-Gi-Oh! history where we are going to use Yu-Gi-Oh! monsters, but in a way you've never seen before. Well, I guess unless you watch the anime. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right, guys, so here it is. Yu-Gi-Oh! Dungeon Dice Monsters. I don't like the way they ran that together. It was actually a bit of a pain to read that. So there are seven different figures and cards in this starter set because there are ex boosters for this. Uh, they're all long gone now. You can find them on eBay, I guess. So we have a list of the monsters in this set. We have Vorsch Raider, that's him. Thunderball, over here. Uh, Knight of Twin Swords. Strike Ninja. Gear Freed the Iron Knight. And the Buster Blader. So it looks like they want to have at least one iconic monster for Yugi and one for Kaiba, despite Kaiba never having played this before. I haven't seen that Mattel logo in years. Speaking of logos, look at that old Konami logo. That certainly dates this product. We get unleash your monsters with the power of dungeon dice. Roll the dice to summon monsters and give them power. Build your dungeon path across the field. Defeat the enemy monster lord to win. Let's give this relic an open. It, feel, it looks like it's been open before. First up, we have our dungeon dice. Oh, the dimension dice? I forget exactly what they call them. They have these different symbols, and when, I know you roll them to get combinations of symbols to add to like your pool or whatever. Eight dice. Then we have our monsters themselves. <laughs> it came right off the base. I hope they're supposed to do that. So this is Thunderball. Looks like, looks like the Yu-Gi-Oh card. So this is Strike Ninja. Actually, like decent, a little decent paint job on him. Gear Free, the Iron Knight. I don't want to break them, but these are really inside the packaging. Okay, so Knight of Twin Swords, who is not an actual monster, like a card, but was in the Dungeon Dice Monsters uh, arc. All right, here comes the Vorse. Man, that's actually really good modeling, though. Yeah, like, mo the and the painting is nice. Yeah. And, oh, wait, there was more dice. I just, I did not realize they had more dice. The Buster Blader. So, these trays are actually how you keep up with the results on your dice. Every time you spin one of these symbols, you move one of the little, uh, little markers over. And it's like it's listed one through ten, so you can kind of have a uh, like a ch you can you can keep up with all your counters, all the abilities that you can use. So first up, we have Monster Lord with a three dimensional render. The Monster Lord is you. I guess okay. the Monster Lord is you. I'm not 100 percent sure what that means. Yeah, three LP, ten of that, and zero defense. Okay. That's probably attack. Probably attack. All right, now we have so we have Thunderball. Level three dark monster. If you have three of these little electric things, Thunderball moves straight forward until it hits a monster or item and destroys it. So it's a bomb. Knight of Twin Swords has two different abilities. He's a level two warrior. Force Raider. A level one warrior. Uh, three and zero. I'm not 100% sure what those mean. Without spending an attack crest, this monster can attack. Uh, Strike Ninja is a level three warrior. Uh, this progress. Strike Ninja can move three squares for each progress crest spent. The Buster Blader, level three warrior. This monster will not be affected by any attacks or effects produced by a monster from the Dragon Tribe. Well, I don't think there are any dragons in here, so just like Force Raider, that's just not a useful effect. I guess it's for more when you expand the yeah. your collection. These things are so old. There. Oh man, they're very brittle feeling. But like they, they they've held, they held, they hold, they hold. Yeah, up. they just, hold up. They're you just, can feel they're the brittle. Age. All right, we have Gear Free the Iron Knight, level two warrior. Whatever that means, times three. This this effect only works when your monster lord gets attacked. So I guess this, I guess each player has a monster lord. They only gave us one. So we have a laminated game board. That's nice. Or it's kind of laminated. So this is what the board looks like. You and your opponent will sit on either side. We're gonna have to tape this down. <laughs> yeah, you and your opponent are gonna sit on either side of this. I think uh, I think you start, like this is where I guess you are, the point you're trying to protect. 
and this is where you start playing your uh, your monsters from, I guess. So in the anime, when they would roll, when they would like do the dice thing, the dice would just open up and like give you a path, and every die would open up in a different pattern, so you could conduct, so you could build your paths. But here, they just give us these path pieces. I guess they didn't want to bother with like folding dice. Which kids would definitely just mess up. We'd break so. them. That is fair. Yeah, you can see the star is where the die would like start from, and then it would unfold along a certain path. All right, now we have whatever these are. So we have Monster Lord tokens, and whatever these circular, where these little red circles are. I guess that's what this is for. And for once in my Yu-Gi-Oh life, I'm going to read. So on the bright side, a lot of this book is useless to us because we don't have most of the card types. We, do, we only have monsters, we don't have any items. And so we're actually very limited in what we, all, what we have to really worry about. With one starter set, you have everything you need to play Dungeon Dice Monsters, just like the characters on the Yu-Gi-Oh! TV show. Although you and another person can play a complete game with the monsters that come in this starter set, you may have more fun if you collect extra monsters in booster packs sold separately. Use dice to summon monsters. Build a path to your opponent's monster lord and attack. The first player to defeat the opposing monster lord by reducing its life points to zero wins the game. The die is cast. The trap is set. And for one week only, I'm after the total destruction of Yuki Moto. Every roll counts. Game on! Go, dice roll! Don't miss a single day of Yu-Gi-Oh! Dungeon Dice Monsters. Next on Kiss WB. The time has come. Yeah, so we've got our board set up. Uh, we realized that we had to get uh, y'all. This stuff old. Super glue to glue the uh, models or the little kind of figures. But this thing's been folded for so long, it does not lie flat. So do. the figures kept falling, and then they fall off their bases. It's a whole yeah, mess. It's been a whole thing, but we've got it now. We're and it here. still might be a mess, but we're gonna push through one yeah. way or another. Yeah, th this might look sort of flat on camera. It is. It's not. not. We're gonna go, right. and we'll try to sort of explain the rules as, as we, we play. Go, yeah. So. All right. So make so sure you first, move your counter over. Yeah. Think of the crest counter as kind of a bank. Our role, we're gonna store up these crests to let us make plays. This is how it works. There are six types of crests on the surfaces of these dice. Summon, movement, magic, attack, defense, and trap crest. I'll take the first move. All right then. Do I call you duelist or dicest? Dicest sounds weird. Dicer? Dice, just say duelist. duelist. Yeah. All right, duelist. I'll be taking the first move. So I pick a set of dice to roll. Different dice can summon different level monsters. So for instance, these level two dice would help me potentially be able to summon a level two monster. But he has to roll at least two of that particular summoning crest. Take a look. You get three dice per round. You roll all three at the same time, and then you get to make your move depending on what you roll. Different crests do different things. Take that green die, for example. That star crest I just rolled is for summoning. So my goal right now is actually just to make my Vorse Raider. It's level one, so I'm going to just take the level one dice. That's these red ones here. Give them a roll, see what you get. Give them a roll. All I right. Rolled. Oh, awesome, okay. So I got two shield crests and two, I guess these are, Those are summoning crests. crests. To be able to summon something, at least two out of the three dice that you roll during your turn have to land with the same type summon crest face up. So I can summon my Vorse Raider, and I also get two shields real quick. I'll just and those get slide once you move my all over, and that stays there. Abacus is that what you call this? Slide my abacus over. Yeah, but that's for math. This is a bank. Yeah. So basically, I now have two of these shields just sort of stored up. I'll be able to use these to defend myself from attacks. But you can't store up those summoning crests, so you got to use them right now. Yeah. So since I have two summoning crests, I'm going to use them to summon my Vorse Raider to the field. So a couple of things to represent how we're going to do this. I get to pick one of these different sort of sets of dice layouts over here. It has to be connected to where my monster lord is. Because remember, our goals are to take out each other's monster lords. They're kind of like deck masters, I guess you could say. Think of them as like the king in chess, but you have to hit him three times. Oh, and by the way, where you see the star here is actually where the monster itself will be summoned. So I'm going to set mine up like this. 
And that means my Boris Raider is placed right here under the star. Remember in the show, the dice would open up and unfold. Well, they didn't want to make for unfolding dice, so this is what we got. So that's going to end my turn. The Boris right. Raider right here on the field. So my turn begins. Uh, so I have Yugi's monsters, and what's funny about them is that they're kind of they're all they're all decently strong, but they're not low level. All I have is a uh, two level threes and a level two. So yeah, it's I'll odd. Kaiba gets a one two and a three. Yugi gets two twos and a three. Very strange. So I'll start with these level two dice. All right. So I Ooh. won't be summoning here, but I will stock some. Uh, we get we get two progress, two attack. And one magic. Yeah, that's These actually pretty crazy. Come in handy later. All right, but that's all I can do. Yeah, that's actually a really good roll, though. So I already have Voice Raider on the field. But you I'm can't able reach to, my lord yet. I can attack and then move, or move and then attack. But I have to start my turn with the dice roll, right? Yeah, always. Plus, I mean, where are you, you going to go? <laughs> yeah. I want to summon my level twos, so I think that these yellow dice are the level three summoners. Mm hmm. Level two summoners are these blue ones. Yes. Looks like. Yeah. Okay. So, we'll roll these. All right, my rolls wow. were two, All two, three and two. Okay. Summoning. Okay. So, so, I can summon. Nothing else happens when I get nope. extra ones, right? There's okay. a waste. Great. I can at least summon my Knight of Twin Swords. We've only got three cards each. This will probably be a, a shorter end game. Especially since like, now you're going to have two monsters to my none. I can now use another blue path and I just have to connect it to my last one. So I'm going to put mine like this. All right. And summon out Knight of the Twin Sword again on this star section. So these two do each have different abilities that they can use. They're not what going makes to be coming special? up right now. So Voice Raider can... Um, Attack without an attack crest, but it just has to use three of any other crests. So you can use any crest to attack, essentially. And it can also just add an additional 20 points of attack power, but that's only if it's attacking something from the Beast Tribe. I don't think we have any we cards from the Beast Tribe. we don't actually have any of no. here. Uh, meanwhile, Knight of Twin Swords can move two squares for each progress counter spent instead of one. Um, and also, you can perform two attacks against one monster for every two attack crests spent, but... I have to use an even number of attack crests all the time. Ah, so a double attacker and a double mover. This is here. That is there. And that's all the crests that I've accumulated. So, since I only have shield crests, I can't move. I guess I'll just end my turn. All right, my turn. Back to trying to summon something. Good luck. There's no easy way in this life. Nope, we got two magic, two progress. So when you do finally get to summon a monster, you're going to have a lot of resources. All right, that's it for me. Okay, back I'll to I'll summon me. something eventually, guys. Okay, I didn't get enough. I got one progress counter. And one attack. Or one progress crest and an attack one. And we're going to use my progress. Oh. To move my twin sword forward one on the board. Back at it again. We're gonna get somebody on board. Okay. We got three twos so I can summon my gear freed. So Alec finally does get to put a monster on the board. Hmm, let's see, how do we want to do it? So once again, he's got the red, uh, the red, what, it, paths? Dice path? I would call it a path. Yeah, and his first one has to just be touching the monster, where the monster lord is in some way. He can orient it how he likes, though. So. Say hello to my Gear Freed. The Gear Freed is an all defensive kind of monster. Uh, he does not have a lot of attack, but he's very good on defense. That's actually all I'm going to do for now. I'll end my turn. Go dice roll. That's what they said in the show, right? That is what they said. Go dice roll. Oh my um, gosh. Well, I can summon my three and I get two, two traps. traps. And now I can use my two level three summoning crests to move my Thunderball onto the field. All right, pick your path. Summons here. Ah! And now it's in play. And Thunderball's got a special ability. I can actually use three Magic Crests to move straight forward until I hit an item or a character, or a monster, an item, and it'll automatically destroy it until it hits a dead end. Yikes. <laughs> now, I don't actually have any magic crests right now. Oh, so, good, good, good. Yeah, I'm, I suppose I'll just end my turn. Let's see. We're going for threes now. Yep. All 
All right, we got one attack, one progress, and two traps. So I, ha I have crests to work with. You do. You have a lot to move with. I certainly do. However, Gearfried is a defensive kind of guy, so I won't actually do anything. No, you don't even want to move him at all. No, what am I worried about? You have no movement, you have no progress crest, and Thunderball Man can't use his effect yet. I'll just pass. Yeah, if I get enough uh, magic crests, though, that could change. So back to me. Uh, which ones have the most magic crests? Is that right? You, you gotta look around. I guess I can examine the dice. Yeah, each die, each type of die is different as far as what crest they yield and how much of it that they yield. So Ooh. since Paul has all of his monsters in play already, he can now just kind of pick whichever is more likely to give him what he needs. Ah, so the green ones, this is for the level fours, we don't actually have any level four monsters, but the green ones do give double magic. Oh God, if you saw so you roll two. So I could two. actually get lucky here. Oh no. Get enough magic to use my Thunderball special ability. All right, I got one shield. That's a defense crest. One trap and one attack. So, okay. It's kind of awesome. That's going to be my turn. I still haven't actually gotten much of any movement done in this game. I'm just gonna I'm gonna move my guy out the way as soon as I can. <laughs> I was wondering if you do that last turn, get him out of the I way. I I forgot that those dice have the double magic. The reason why I say that, guys, is because Thunderball's ability, just to remind you, lets him spend three magic crests to move straight forward and hit and destroy the first thing he comes in contact with, and it won't even be a battle. Yes, we got to summon. So you get to summon a level three. Yes, I which do. Which, that's both of your guys, Strike Ninja and Buster Blader. See, so what looked like a good start for me might turn around pretty quickly now that Alec is not only able to summon cards, but also he has plenty of built-up crests to attack, defend with, or not really defend with, but use magic with. Yeah, so the, the full field is from here to here. That's for like proper constructed games. I'm not sure how you have those in 2024, but- uh, <laughs> Yeah, you go to your constructed uh, Dungeon Dice Monsters tournament. The basic game actually plays within this rectangle here. Yeah, this or is it a square? It's a, it's a rectangle. It's a rectangle, yeah, it's a rectangle. Yeah. So it's just because we have fewer pieces to work with. I think it is a square. I think it is a square. I'm trying to think, how do I, I need, I need to get rid of your guy. So I'm trying to figure out which piece gets me there efficiently so I can just get rid of him. Yeah. All right. Say hello to the Buster Blader. Oh, boy. Buster Blader, by the way, is super strong in this. He's a very simple monster. Um, he's not affected by dragons, but there are no dragons. But he does have 40 base attack, which yeah. is huge. And Paul's about to experience that. So I'm gonna use two movement crests, or two progress crests, to move my Buster Blader. One, two, and now that he's adjacent with Thunderball, we can have a battle. So I have to use an attack crest, and I'm attacking your Thunderball with my 40 attack. Okay, so Thunderball has 30 HP, mm -hmm. and it's also got 10 defense. You can spend a defense crest to use your defense against my offense, and you'll reduce how much hit you're at. HP. There's not really much point in me using my defense crest here, mm -hmm. since Buster Blader's got 40 attack, and my monster has 30 HP. Even if I reduce its, use its shield ability to reduce the damage down to 30, I'll still be destroyed. So I suppose that means... Goodbye, Thunderball. Thunderball is out of the game. We'll put his card face down just to signify that. So you, a monster can only move once and attack once during the turn. I did, I moved once and I attacked. So Buster Blader is done. Gearfreed can still move. Gearfreed will hold his position to protect my monster lord. And I'll end okay. my turn. Roll the greens. I got attack and two trap. Oh, darn. So that's cool because it sort of helps me build them up. That just does but, none of your guys have trap abilities. Yeah, I don't actually have any trap abilities. Two of mine do. Either way, uh, okay, I guess that means that's all that I can do this turn. All right. Well, I still have one more monster to play, so I'm rolling these threes. Good luck. Nope, but we did get one progress and one attack. So now I have four and four. It would be in my best interest to take out your knight. I'll use three progress crests to move three tiles. 
One, two, three. Oh, jeez. And now I'll use my attack. And now Buster Bladers attacking your twin sword knight. And I still have 40 attack. Yeah, and I can't do anything about it. I could use a defense crest to get that damage down to 30, but I only have 30 HP. A bit of a uh, oversight, I think, in, the, in this yeah, early bu thing. Yeah, Buster Blader having base 40 is insane. Yeah, I feel like that sort of sucks. But, well, that means that my Knight of Twin Swords is destroyed. Out of play. All right. If I lose all my monsters, by the way, I'll just automatically lose. So I think next turn I'm just gonna probably lose because you. I mean, well, you have only one movement. Yeah, so. I only have one movement left. So, so if you get a movement next turn, that, that might just be it. You for me. will have to get rid of my Buster Blader. Or die trying anyway. <laughs> okay. Um. Cool. So I still need movement if I want to do that at all. Come on, progress, Chris. Oh, there okay, they are. Okay, I got two progress crests. A four, which I can ignore because I can't summon anything with that. And a defense crest. Which, with your creatures, is very useless. Yeah, it doesn't do much <laughs> for me. So, I have 20 attack on Boris Raider. Which means I can't actually really, like, do a whole bunch. I can lower Buster Blader's HP, though. So, um... That could be, like, a thing. So, if you're beside me, though, when that's done, you'll just be able to attack, right? Oh, my turn. I will be able to attack. I will be able to attack. Okay. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'll... There's really not much I can do. Right? I mean, because, like, I can stay here and die, move and die, or, uh... Just attack you and deal some damage, but still die. Well... Maybe the maybe the move is to avoid the Buster Blader entirely and go after my monster lord. The thing is, I can't do that because like I only have two movement, so I could like move here and then here, but then you'll still be able to get to me. Only if I get a progress. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just use these two and go to those spots using my two movements. That's gonna be it. All just gotta right. Pray you don't get a progress. All right, Buster Blader, finish him. I got oh, one progress, got progress. Oh, and no. I got two threes. So you can actually summon Strike Ninja. Because it still it still connects, so I can actually summon my Strike Ninja next to your Lord. Oh man, that sucks. <laughs> so I can I can actually use one progress counter on my Strike Ninja, so because he can move three squares to your Monster Lord. And now I'll use an Attack Crest. So your Monster Lord can take three attacks? Yes. Am I able to defend myself with Defense Crest from those? You cannot. The, the Monster Lord has zero defense, so you'll take uh, one mandatory okay. tick of damage. We'll put it, I'll, I'll put it on him, because, yeah, okay. So he's taken one, he can afford to take three, and then I'll really be dead. And now I'll use one progress to move my Buster Blader one step Okay. Now, monsters can't attack diagonally, despite being, like, adjacent. So I'll just have to pray that I get movement and I can just kind of run away, although that probably won't really work. We'll have to see. All right. It all we're depends gonna, on the roll of the dice. I'm going to keep rolling these and pray for some movement. Oh, no movement. All right, I get two magic, an attack, and a trap crest, which I can't use. I got one attack, one trap, and one defense. So one attack, crest, one trap, crest, crest, not quest, and one defense, crest. But I did not get any progress, so I actually will not be able to go after Vorse Raider. Oh man, okay. So I'll just spend one attack to hit your monster ward again with my strike ninja. Okay. Well, anyways, back to me. Gonna just try to roll for some movement. Like, I don't even know, like. I don't think it's really gonna work, but we'll see. Cause uh, I only need one more hit. Oh. Oh well, <laughs> that doesn't really do it for me. So uh, I get my two magic. I can't really use them. I get an attack, but I can't use that either. So it's back to you. Back to me. I'll roll because it's customary, but I have enough attack to finish this off. 
two progress and, a tra and two traps, but we're just gonna spend the attack. Yeah, and so that's three on my to monster lord. To send your monster lord to the shadow realm. Which means I do lose. Oh, very unfortunate. Paul, I think we should play again and randomize the monsters. Two optional monster selection methods. Place the monster cards face down, have each player take turns drawing three cards to select their monsters. Do it, because I think that would be a bit more fair, because... Now, what we could also <laughs> even do is just, like, when a monster is destroyed, you can still summon it back. You know what? I think that might make for a more, like, so the game can kind of... Things. So when you ever you summon you a monster back, you should be able to summon to one of your stars, to, yeah. Yeah, I think that. I'm with fun. that. Okay. All cool. right, rematch? All right, rematch, let's do it. All right. All right, Paul. Take, take your pick. I think this one. I'll take this one. I'll take this one. I'll take this one. And this. And I'll get that. All right, what do we have? Okay. Oh, I okay. got Gearfried, Knight of Twin Swords, and Buster Blader. I won't lie. I do not feel comfortable losing Buster Blader. Now I've got two twos and a three. So I've got Vorse Raider, Strike Ninja, and Thunderball. So I have two threes and a one. All right, let's exchange our little guy pieces. So let's start with, I guess I'll, I'll get some guys in play. Let's work with the one dice. That's why I do have the Vorsch Raider now. I think in this game, the one dice have the most summoning star sides. They do. Uh, see, I already got one and two defense crests, which I don't think are gonna help me all that much. Yeah, not loads. All right, say hello to the Vorsch Raider. The Vorsch Raider, okay. You can't move, so it's to my turn. Yep. I gotta summon a level two or a level three. So we're gonna use these blue dice and have some level twos. Dice are all. Oh, I don't get to summon something, but I do get Woo, four. Four progress. Progress crests. So that will come in handy when I do finally summon. Back to you, duelist. All right. So I don't have a two, but I do have threes. So we're rolling three dice. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Wow, all right, here we go. All right, Strike Ninja is in play. And that's it, because I didn't get any other crest. Back to me, so I'm gonna have to try to get some twos again. I do get a two and two attack crests. So. And, oh, he's about to get aggressive, y'all. I can summon a level two monster. It's gonna be my Knight of Twin Swords. I'll also use this piece. Knight of Twin Swords is in play. We're one square away from interacting. I think I'm gonna end my turn there. So we're, on, we're still on threes. Dice roll! Not Two bad. progress and an attack, I'll take that. All right, let's try to get a three out. Try to get this Buster Blader working for me now. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh and my god! I get a progress counter as well. So now I can summon Buster Blader out to the field? Yes. We're going right here. Woo! Buster Blader is in play. Mm. This is so horrible. <laughs> yeah, this is not great for you. <laughs> I'll use four I can't progress counters. The four was enough. One, two, three, four. That puts Buster Blader right in front of you, and now I can use an attack crest. I'm calling them counters, crests, to attack you with 40. I can't believe you did that. Which is absolutely insane, and I... All right, back to you. Okay. All right, we're still rolling threes. My monster lord is now in danger. Oh, we got threes. You can summon out your Thunderball. Oh, my God. I could do that. I promise I don't have any magic. You know what? We're going we're gonna to go ahead and do this. And here comes Thunderball. Just look at the Thunderball in play. All right. Well, you are actually just able to move and attack. I can move and attack, but I have a feeling I might need those crests. So this is a tough, this is a tough situation to be in. Yeah, we're gonna use the two progress crests. And we're gonna go after. No. Oh. Your twin sword guy. I, can, he so, I can't yeah. take him out because I only have 10 attack. So Thunderbolt's got thin, 10 attacks. So I guess that's to, to offset the really powerful auto destroy ability it's got. Mm -hmm. So you have 10 attack. I've got Knight of Twin Swords. Has 10, has 30 HP. But I can also just use a defense crest that I don't have. 
So you so, will have to lose that HP. All right, so I'm going to lose 10 HP. So all I'm just right. going to put the counter on him. Yeah, back to you. Back to me. Okay. All right. You ready, Duelist? No. I roll. We'll go back to rolling these level twos. Dice roll. Oh, okay. Enough to make a two and two progress. Crafts. Yikes. And say hello to Gearfree the Iron Knight. Where do I want to summon him? Well, pretty good. So I'm going to summon him right here. My blue is still touching another blue. Interesting. Despite the fact that Gearfried is a mostly defensive monster. I plan to use it for attacking because as long as I'm attacking your monster lord, any attack counts. So I'm going to use two of these to move Buster Blader right up to your monster lord and declare an attack with my one attacking crest. Yeah. That'll give you one damage counter. I feel like I'm gonna have quite a few of these before it's all said and done. All right, and now it's back to you. All right, so I need to get I need to get my Vorse Raider back. I suppose in theory I can't actually attack you with two monsters at a time unless I can actually find two routes to your right. monster lord. Oh wait, he left his uh his knight open. That is true. I forgot I had a movement crest to mm. do that, and my knight has taken one. Let's see. I won't be able to attack you either. I should have actually probably d tried to just attack the Thunderball, huh? So Thunderball... But I wanted to get damage I need on your monster lord. I need magic counters, and the four dice have the most. Yeah, the four dice get you a lot of magic counters. If you can somehow get three, you can just auto-destroy me. That's the goal! Go! Dice roll! Yes! Oh, no, okay. <laughs> so you get two magic and an attack. Four magic. Four, so yeah, four magic and an attack. This is the double magic. Man, that sucks. That is that is all that was nearly a perfect roll. Alright, so we're gonna use we're gonna spend three to use my Thunderball's effect. His special ability, I think, is the proper term. So it moves straight forward until it hits a monster or item and destroys it. It does not if it does not move into a, a destroyed monster, it doesn't move into the monster's space, and if it hits a dead end, it just stops. Luckily, your monster's right there, yeah, so. so goodbye. Knight bye of the bye. Twin Swords. Well, that also moves you closer. Or, oh, Actually, technically, it doesn't move at all. Not, it doesn't yeah. move you, but you're, you're now a free reign to just get to my Monster Lord eventually. So I still need to figure out what I'm going to do about your Buster Blader attacking mine. Well, I, can, I don't actually have any attack press. Oh, right yeah. Now. So oh, as hopefully as you don't get, get any. Some, so I'll end my turn there. Okay, what gives me the most attack crests? Blues can potentially give me. I hope lots you roll none. So we're rolling. Go dice roll. Oh my god. Oh, four it's, movement. Wait, movement. Okay, okay. Four movement crests and one magic crest. I'll take that. Your guys can't use magic. I can't attack you this turn, so. <laughs> I end my turn. I, was... I can't leave this boundary, right? Yeah, you can't go beyond the boundary. Oh, man. A party was kind of glad you put that piece that way. I was like, yes, he oh, won't. he's not going for a second angle. <clears throat> it's only one of my monsters can attack you. All right, we got four progress and one attack. That is a perfect Ooh, that's roll. That's a really good one. All right, Thunderball. So we're going to spend two progress to move two spaces. And now we're going to send one attack right at your Monster Lord. Okay, so that's one on my Monster Lord. And now it's one, one. So yeah, we've both taken one. The second game gets a little more exciting, huh? So it's, it's all about the strategy. Yeah, so I'm going to spend two, both my progress counters to go one, two, three, four. He has to spend the, the full amount, regardless how far I go. And I'm going to attack your Buster Blader. Oh, I see what you're planning. Okay, so you're attacking with Strike Ninja. Yes. Strike. I don't have any defense crests. And I have 20 attack. Ooh, okay, so that's going to be two damage on my, on my Buster Blader. Okay, so since I only have 30 HP, I won't be able to survive much more. All right, but that's all I can do as far as movement attacking go. So I'll end my turn. All right, so I need to really get some attacks in would be great. And I did get some attacks in. I also okay. got enough twos to re-summon out a monster. Is that a two? It is a two. Yikes! So two attacks, and I can bring Knight of Twin Swords back. Where do I want to put him? Let's put him. Yikes! Right here then. <laughs> yeah, back on this blue oh, star. Oh no, you've pinned down my Thunderball. Now it's time to get rid of some cards. 
It can perform two attacks against one monster for every two attack crests used. So you could but to get use rid this of effect, my I have to use an even amount. Uh, I could, but I gotta use my Buster Blader too. So Buster Blader is gonna use an attack crest. Dang it! <laughs> and Buster Blader will just attack your uh, your Strike Ninja with forty. Ooh, golly! That is no, I can't defend that. He'll just go. I'm sorry, Strike Ninja. We'll use another attack crest so that my twin swords can attack your Thunderball. How much is your attack? My attack is 20. It's going to either take 20 or 10 from you. You can use a defense crest to reduce that to 10, or you can yeah. take all 20. I'm going to spend one defense crest to reduce your, your, uh, your damage. Okay, so now you'll just be taking 10. So just to kind of like assess the field right now, because it might be difficult to follow, both of our monster lords which have taken one out of their three life points. Yes. And also, right now, Buster Blader has taken 20, and he's only got 10 HP left. Yes. And also now, Thunderball has taken 10, so he's got 20 HP left. Yeah, we'll go ahead and pass. Okay. Okay, I really have to be, be smart about this. Yeah, you can try to summon back a monster. I can. The problem is, one's a one and one's a three. And I already know the one dice have no attacking crests. Oh, they have none. still want to attack. The three die it does have an Oh, yeah. The crest. one dice are easier to use, but they don't have attacking crests. Unless they're easier to summon with. It's crazy. How much uh, HP does Buster Blader have left? So Buster Blader's only got 10 HP left. And I don't actually have any defense. All right, so I'm gonna invoke a rule, or I might be able to invoke a rule that ba that bails me out here. I only need I only need one. I just need one attack crest. Dang. Okay, so you get a trap. Oh, I am doomed. <laughs> well, probably. All right, so we get two progress, two magic, and a trap. Yeah, I I have to pass. Oh, okay. Ah. I'm surprised you didn't use Thunderball's ability. What, does it take three? It takes three. I'm using Thunderball's ability. Oh, you already ended your no, turn. No, 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 I'm using Thunderball's ability. I'm using it, I'm using it, I'm using it. I'm using it. No, 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 you let me you use ended... it, you let me use it. Okay, Put the dice you can down. use it. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> yeah, you can uh, use its ability and yes. just zoom forward. And... Thunderball's gonna fly straight into your guy again. Okay, mm, you owe me right. one. Now I have my turn. You <laughs> owe me one. <laughs> Dice roll gets two progress. And a spell. And or a, a magic. spell, but no attack. I guess game. if in modern Yu-Gi-Oh! would be spell. We don't say magic in Yu-Gi-Oh! anymore. Thankfully for you, I can't attack. Woo! I'm, I'm also out of attack, Chris. Yeah. I can't really even move. All right, back to you. All right, we're going to switch over to the level three die. With the hope of summoning back my strike ninja. We did not, but we did get an attack crest and two traps. So, I could attack your monster lord with my thunderball. You could. But did you know the monster lord itself has attack points? It does. I'm going to spend my attack crest to have my monster lord attack your buster blader and finish him off. Oh no, <laughs> that's so annoying. I was considering moving him away too. Yeah, Darn, okay. Third got on him, yeah. Okay, so Buster Blader's gone. Well played. All right, but that's actually I all totally I can forgot about really that. do, so I'll pass there. Okay, so now I gotta try to maybe summon him back. We'll use the threes. Dice roll. Just two attacks. And a trap. And oh, two, two traps. Trap, two trap crests. Okay, well... You gonna do anything with that gear free? You got all that movement. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and use three movements. Three movement crests. Two, one, two, three. And then an attack crests on your <laughs> monster lord. Oh so no. So now it's down to it only has it can only take one more attack. Alright, back to you, duelist. Alright, here we are again. So this is the, this is the crazy play. Yeah. I roll Four spell crests and shoot my thunderball directly at your gear, Fred. 
Let's hope that doesn't happen. Right. But good luck trying, Duelist. There's the only die that can do that is the four star die, which means I'd be giving up. I'd be giving up an attack. Well, I guess I could potentially attack, but I would be giving up my chance to summon something. Ah, I gotta risk it all. Where do I? Where do I go for a one? Oh, to summon back Vorse Raider? Yeah, but Vorse Raider won't be able to kill the Gear Freed fast enough. Maybe there isn't. You know what? Hail Mary! Okay. It worked once! Alright, Thunderball. Do you love me? Oh. He does! Oh my god, are you kidding me? We get four spell crests! Four and spell one crests defense. and defense. And we're going to Darn. spend three of those right now. For Thunderbolt's special ability. He will roll all the way into your gear freed and destroy him. Jeez, man. I almost had this game won. Woo! Okay, well. Thunderbolt bailed me out. Back to me then, Duelist. Yes. Back to me. I have to find a way to summon back one of my cards and. or two level twos and a level three. Oh, darn. Okay. Back to you, Duelist. All right, I need to get my guys back too. So let's first try and get this Vorse Raider going. So we need some ones. And we got the Vorse Raider and a progress. That's cool. I'm gonna move, use all three of my progress for Vorse Raider. One, two, three. Oh, and I can't spawn to there. Take now. away that spawn point, and I'll end my turn. And I gotta still pray to get a summon. Go dice roll. Oh, darn. It's a lot of attack triggers. Four attacks. That's Woo. it, though. Back to you. All right. Oh, yeah. I got to make sure I flip the Force Raider card. Make sure they build back my board. You got two progress and an attack. So I'm going to use one progress on Force Raider to move one forward. Force Raider can actually use an attack crest to attack. But instead, I can pay three of any, of any core, of any crest. So I'm going to use all these trap crests because they never come in handy. Oh, and that can let you attack. To deliver ten to your Oh, man, I can't take board. any more of that. If I can get a monster out, I can probably attack you. I got to get it out. If I don't get one, I'm done for. He's got yes, one. Yes, I got one. And, and you I get got one spell for magic. Spell. Okay. So... Welcome back. Oh no, wait. Which one? Okay, yeah. The saying. Knight of Twin Swords. I saw you get him for Buster Blade. I'm like, no! Actually, wait, I can I can move him here. Voice Raider's got 10 HP? Yep, 10 HP and 10 defense. Well, in that case, let's use an attack. Yeah, even if I defend, he'll still just go down. Boy, in this game, the defense is not useful. Yeah, there, maybe there's some better defensive cards Goodbye, among the collectibles. Force Raider. Okay, that saves my monster lord. We're back in this. This is actually getting more intense than I thought. I'm not happy. Next. One, two, three, four. See, I was hoping you'd leave him in that lane. I was like, Thunderball will fly right in there. Yeah, so now your Thunderball can't go forward right at him. Do I go for do I try to make my voice raider again and th just like threaten game? But if I if I miss roll, I'll be very salty. It all comes down to this. It is about the luck of the dice, huh? Come on! Dice roll! Oh no, you get to summon him. Dimension the dice! Welcome back, Vorse Raider. Thankfully, though, you only have one progress. I do only have one progress, which is a problem. How many uh, progress do you have? I have two progress, which will let me move four spaces. Oh my gosh, no matter where I go, he can reach me. He can get me wherever I go. How, how many attack crests is that? Uh, five. Golly! So Thunderball is just dead, doomed. So someone's going next turn. Hmm. All right, I'll end my turn. Okay, Duelist. Well, I'm gonna get greedy and try to get the Buster Blader back on the board. Oh. Hey, that counts. That's dice. Dice roll. Two progress. And two traps. Two traps. Ugh, traps aren't useful unless I'm using them for my gear freeze ability to do anything. Okay, so use two progress 
I can move up to four. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. And now we get to attack you with... Do you have any defense? You have uh, two defenses. I, have, I do have defense to use. He's got 20 HP. 20 HP, but you, I mean, you do 20 in one attack. I so. do 20 in one attack, but if he uses one defense, then... Then I will survive. He'll survive. I mean, you have the attack to pay. Okay. I'm going to use two of my attack counters. So <laughs> now he attacks twice, and there's pretty much nothing I can do about that. Goodbye, Say goodbye to your Thunderbolt. Back to you, Duelist. We are really... It's, it's <sighs> both of our it monster scrappy. lords. We basically, both our commanders or whatever deck masters have taken two each. So whoever gets in this the, next hit... The next hit ends it. So the question is, can I get enough progress to like get there? Cool. Go! Dice roll! Yes! Oh no. To mention the dice. Say hello to Strike Ninja. Oh wait, I have no progress! You do have no progress, <laughs> so we can't move this turn. Oh, I should have put him over here then. Back to me. Oh no, well, that's just game, right? All right, I get one attack, one movement. You, you, you got what you needed. Ugh. I'm gonna use my movement. I only have to use one and I can move two forward. And now use my attack and take out <laughs> Your monster lord. Which I guess would be nice. Boom! Yeah, it'd be like knocked down. Uh, I win! Good game. Good game, duelist. <sighs> Very intense. That, yeah, that was difficult. That was that was going to be a tough one to get out of. You just had a, you had enough crests where even if I would have summoned my guy, he would have died immediately. And then we would have went back to this position. I really could have also tried to get out my gear free just so that I could like defend my like defend my monster lord because gear free's special ability lets him defend my um, monster lord using trap tokens or trap mm -hmm. crests, and I just have to um, use three of them in my monster lord. And I, won't be, like, I kept attacked. that in mind since I had gear free in the last game, but I, I just could not find he a way. He doesn't come to up get... enough. Because I, I was thinking about him, I pulled I pulled the Vorse Raider back one tile because I was worried about you getting someone here and then going after Vorse Raider. Well, I should have just kept up the pressure. That is Dungeon Dice Monsters. Yeah, guys, that's the experience. This is what's, and this is just a Star Trek experience. This is yeah. not the entire game. Yeah, they're actually apparently, according to, according to the box, there are 137 to collect. So there are plenty of different monsters and items as well apparently there hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys like the video then drop a like if we get this video to 5,000 likes that sounds like a lot 5,000 likes then we will do a sequel with more dungeon dice monsters and we will actually get a an actual proper play mat yeah so it's not so crazy and then b the rest of the monsters and cards we'll get them all it'll be fun all right, all right. cool we'll see you guys in the next one past, past turn, turn.